There could be a U.S.-China reset, but there's no love lost between America and Russia. On Wednesday, Joe Biden called Putin a crazy SOB. Yes, those were the words used by the U.S. president. Putin has not replied to this barb, but the Kremlin has. It called Biden's comments a huge disgrace. Russia accused Biden of trying to act like a Hollywood cowboy. This isn't the first time Biden has cursed Putin. He's called him a pure tug, a war criminal, a butcher. But even by those standards, this one was harsh. So what explains Biden's verbal outburst? Is he sharpening his attack for the election year? Our next report tells you. On Wednesday, Joe Biden was at San Francisco. He was attending a fundraiser. Biden started talking about climate, but he soon changed tune. He talked about Putin. Here's what he said. We have a crazy SOB like Putin and others, and we always have to worry about nuclear conflict. But the existential threat to humanity is climate. Doesn't sound very presidential, but those were Biden's words. The theme was simple. Climate is a threat, but Putin is a crazy SOB. Of course, no one expected him to heap praises on the Russian president. He's called him a thug before. He's called him a war criminal. But SOB may be pushing it. Not that Biden hasn't said it before. In January 2022, he was caught on a hot mic. He used the same term of abuse for a reporter. Will you take questions on inflation then? Let's move. Thank you. Thank you. Do you think inflation is a political liability? That's a great asset. More inflation. What a stupid son of a So what did Putin have to say about this? It was just days ago that he said he preferred Biden over Trump. So I'm sure he wasn't expecting SOB in return. But the Russian president is yet to reply. However, the Kremlin has. They've accused Biden of trying to act like a Hollywood cowboy. The use of such language against the head of another state by the president of the United States is unlikely to infringe our president. President Putin. But probably it debases those who use such vocabulary. It may seem as an attempt to appear as a cowboy from Hollywood, but frankly speaking, I do not think it is possible. World leaders abusing is often funny. But was this part of Biden's script? Is it part of his election campaign? Donald Trump has long been accused of being soft on Russia and Putin. Biden promised to change that when he was elected. And he did. There's no love lost between him and Putin, but abusing takes it to a whole new level. But Putin isn't the only enemy Biden has. You see these stairs? That's his arch nemesis. And he was caught stumbling on it once again. Those are the stairs to Air Force One, his presidential plane. He has stumbled on them. He has fallen on them. He's gripped the handle tight just to avoid another tumble. He's even swapped the long stairs for the shorter one, entering the plane at a lower deck. But none of that seems to have helped. He's still stumbling. The US president is 81 years old. He will turn 82 just two weeks after the election this year. Most Americans think he's too old to serve. Many believe he should step down. Biden's campaign is trying to change that. They're trying to show that he's capable and agile enough to serve another term. Explains the hard-hitting attacks on his political enemies. But the one thing that he keeps faltering at the most are the humble stairs. As the world feels the shock of wars, India stands as a beacon of strength. The first post-Defense Summit 2024 will showcase cutting-edge technologies, forging partnerships between industry, academia, and research organizations. Witness the transformative story of India's defense sector. First Post Defense Summit 2024.